What is going on in this city? Just a day six, and this place is just going to hell. Not that I'm helping with it much. Oh boy. Pregnant woman killer sent to the mental hospital. New form of schizophrenia? I don't know how I feel about that. Feels like a cover up, man. <laughs> oh boy. So, what's gonna happen today? Mr. Boyd, there was a man here earlier. He left you this. Oh, a man? No. What man? Who let him on this floor? I don't know. I've never seen him before. I asked him his name, but he just ignored me. He was talking on a big telephone, you know, one of those portables. He gave me this envelope and left. Damn. Okay, let's see about this. This gotta be pretty. This gotta be a pretty older setting. Late nineties. The 90s of course, kind of thing. they could have shot them the second they took the photo, but I knew Kendrick and his family were all right. Either way, the message was not that they got out. It meant that I was in. Oof. My servitude to the Mafia had begun. I'd only been in my new position five seconds, and I already knew why Kendrick called it a contract. You sound doomed if you call it what it is. A curse. Boy. <sighs> Good morning, Jack. I believe you just received my message. Who am I speaking with? Oh, I'm sorry. I forget some people don't recognize my voice. But I assure you, Jack, if I was sitting right there in front of you, you'd have no trouble recognizing me. Like what I was a member of your fuck family. Is this? Even better than a wife, perhaps. A wife can betray you. No man is immune. I don't oh talk to people who don't tell me their names. Oh, Jack, don't be so childish. You're too old to run away from strangers. Yes, we both are. And in our old age, friendship becomes rare and all the more precious. But of course, we must work with new people and find out new names. So if you insist, Jack, let us formally meet. Hello, Jack Boyd. I'm Christopher Sand. Wonderful, Mr. Sand. And what is it you do for a living? Oh, you'll soon find out all about that. <laughs> God. Well, you'll learn much more than a simple policeman could ever expect. You're a simple policeman no longer, Jack. Don't turn off your phone. You start today. What the hell? Eight in ten. It's been my go-to principle since my first day on the job. I've got to let my colleagues hush up what they need to, two out of ten times, so that they'll help me with the remaining eight. Hmm. Eighty out of a hundred, eight hundred out of a thousand. I'm proud of those statistics. It's not so bad for Freeburg, right? But now I just officially became a mafia whore. I'm supposed to be fearing for my life, for the lives of my wife and children. But the only thing I can think, what's going to happen to eight and ten? Ugh, I should have just let that bastard get shot. Yeah, you're too low anyway. I don't want to... You're part of B-Shift. Hmm. Why are you so... Oh, right, because you did the whole switch around. Alright. Start the day. Now, what did I pick last time? I think I played that one, didn't I? Yeah. Let's try this one out. <laughs> oh boy. What? Turned out to be a member of a gang known as the Red Masks. I could help you take down the gang if you make him an informant. Hmm. Why not? Ooh. There are a number of gangs in Freeburg, and that means there's bounties to collect. Some of the criminals 
you come across will be members of one gang or another. In exchange for immunity, they may be willing to give up their bosses. Ooh, okay. In this way, you can get hooks into the gang members higher and higher up the food chain, and ultimately take down the boss. If you do arrest the boss, the gang will be finished, and you'll get to claim a reward. There's also a reward for formerly cha charging gang members. Whenever you arrest a gang member, you get a bonus, but you deal with that person is over. Oh, but your deal with that person is over. Don't settle for small fish. You use small fish to catch the big fish. Uh, no. We'll start investigating him. Some slow merchandise. Hmm. All right, this is a good one. Right, we'll put you on it. Actually, we'll leave it. Mull on it by herself. We'll have these two work together on any other cases that come up. What in the world? Okay, request. Now hire one more police officer. Cool! Where are these detectives? Cops. Um, hmm. Well, one thing's for sure. We have some weak-ass people up here. But we have a pretty consistently workable collection of cops here. Hmm. Don't know. May want to grab somebody. Between these three. You know what? I think I'm just gonna grab uh I'll grab somebody. Yeah, we'll keep you for the A shift. Yeah, we're we'll A shift. We'll take it for the A shift. I'm not doing this. What is this going away? So it's city. Keep up, we'll keep our fuck off. Mass gang. Baoling gave several interviews in which she spoke about atrocities committed by the gang. Red Mass gang. She embellished a lot and distorted the facts. If you want to keep you from panicking, you'll need to take down the gang within the next four days. Oh boy. Interesting. I also have four days to like do another quest. Okay. Sugar cream confectioner. <laughs> Attempted murder? The employee at the factory got into a fight with the manager and is trying to push him to a vat of boiling chocolate. Ooh, what a horrible way to go. Alright, this can't be this difficult. Let's bring the new guy on board. And... This can't be that hard. Uh, actually... Two can handle that. Investigation started. Okay. Faithful assistant. Hey, he's a faithful assistant. Founding member of the gang. He's trustable most of the serious jobs. And he keeps the most valuable prize at home while he's arranging their sale. And he brings them to the Wise Dragon restaurant on the day before he's planning to make a deal. The gang was have an immediate buyer for the necklace, so we can express on the same night. It's stolen. Just open around the clock. Just close the night before and more deals go down. He's got a key to the restaurant, and valuables are kept in safe under the bar. Okay. So he shows up, he leaves. Alright, just need to wait for a little bit more details to come in. What do we got here? Nice. Yeah. It's almost pretty confident right now. I like it. What's this? 
Carjacking in the suburbs. Parking lot attendant Dylan Burns reports seeing a teenager walking between cars, trying handles in the hopes of finding an unlocked vehicle. Before the attendant could approach him, the teenager found an unlocked car and shut himself inside. A few seconds later, as he drove shrieking from the parking lot, greatly exceeding the speed limit, he fled towards the suburbs. Uh, alright, let's... Yancey in, actually. Can the SNO? We'll bring them on. Maybe spreading myself too thin, but I got two people coming back in right away, so it shouldn't be too bad. Is it really up for the song? Wow. Okay. What's this one? It's Bob. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, so the officers determine the car thief's location. We take the officer and block the road. Catch up with the stolen vehicle and open fire. No. Predict the criminal attempt to take him into custody. Hmm. These two could end pretty badly. might end up in a foot chase, which is probably a little better than just driving recklessly around. I don't understand the difference between these two, really. I mean, I'm trying to get him in custody to begin with. Hmm. I'm gonna try blocking the road. I'm curious. Like, what is it? What would it mean? Oh, okay. I guess we just cut him off and prevented him. Nice. Soon it was up there now. Oh no! A hostage situation. A weeping child called in saying that someone is holding him against his will. They won't let me go outside. They torture me and bully me. I don't think I can keep going on. I want to go outside and see Pete. Uh. Why do I get the feeling this is bullshit? I'll tell you what, I'm sending two in. I just, this sounds like bullshit. <laughs> you two handle it. I, I'm... There's a hunch that it's, this is not what it sounds like. Officers back. This is a slow day, really, otherwise. That's at the casino. We received the call from an angry casino patron. He claims that one of the casino girls that was hanging around this table looked at his wallet, which was carrying a couple thousand dollars in cash and several credit cards. Casino security shoved him outside, saying that he was drunk, but the man isn't giving up so easily. Alright. Let's send some let's send some people out for that. Oh, Sam needs help. Jack, we're dealing with a moron who refuses to pay his debts. He says that the police will protect him. I think it's time we show him whose side the police are on. Wow. I can lose good people because of that. I'm curious. <laughs> it's a pretty over. <laughs> I could just refuse, and then I end up getting my family killed, which is just, like, it's equally fucked up. Kind of wish I could have waited to send, um, Chang over, but... Oh, this is a hostage situation. 
until he ate his broccoli. I knew it. I knew it. I, I was so sure of that. That was not a thing. Oh, boy. It's a theft. Oh! So... I don't know who we arrested. <laughs> Did we arrest him for being a drunk asshole? Did we arrest the, uh... The woman who stole his wallet? I have no idea. Uh oh. Assault with a deadly weapon at the parking lot exit. A security guard stopped a suspicious looking van and asked to check the driver's membership card. The female driver reached carefully into the golf cart and then pulled out a gun and opened fire. All hands on this. Go for that. Oh, you're back. Just give him the big old bop to the face, whoever it was. But these these later songs are like really short, it feels like. Or maybe I just don't notice when the Looks music like stops. We have a here. Oh no. It's caught up the perpetrated van. Oh, are they oh jeez. Uh Order the van to stop. Try to run the van off the road. That seems dangerous. She's the bullhorn. Van takes a sharp turn. Crashes through the window of a sex shop. Kinky. Woman exits out of the vehicle. Grabs the shopping cart. Puts a gun to his head. Oh boy. No. That's hysterical. All right. Just order her to let the man go. That. Went surprisingly well. <laughs> oh, man. Looks like the day's almost up. Yeah, I guess because I threw so many people at it. It was just... Almost anything was bound to succeed. Ooh. New frames. Okay. Is he locking the door or unlocking it? Usually the rest of the around caught, but it was closed that night before because an important deal was going on. So he gets to the place, he approaches it, puts stuff in the safe, locks, and leaves. He's got a key to the restaurant. I think this is. I think this is it. Okay. Now what? We're, we're going into the next day here. Like, what's... Am I just in this for forever? What's going on? I didn't see an end of the day. Now I do. <laughs> All right. These shift looks alright. Man, this guy looks exhausted. I, I need him to ask for a day off because he, he's he just looks tired. Nancy as well. These guys seem fine. Alright. They're definitely on the lower scale, but some of them are like like Stavall is just amazing. Okay, day seven. Racist gangs run wild in the city? Second ever be built in Freeburg. Investigation into Francis Kinner could resume. Hmm. Can it? Oh boy. The people of Freeburg have built up a tolerance for the petty horrors of modern life. <laughs> You'll never see crowds gathering around a beaten passerby. Folks rarely even slow to gawk at a car accident. And street theft doesn't turn heads anymore. Been a long time since people got worked up about stuff like that. So when I ran into a troubled crowd on the way to work, I knew there was something serious going on. Something bad enough to knock these people out of their daily rhythm. 
And we're talking about people who would step over a corpse if it was blocking the door to the coffee shop. Oh boy. But apparently all it takes is a bunch of leaflets, or spreading broken glass across Main Street, or releasing a couple of hundred rats in the ice arena. What the hell? The mysterious figure taking responsibility for these strange acts goes by the alias Robespierre. Oh, jeez. Nobody knows who he is, what he wants, or what all this adds up to, from the buckets of lard spread on the sidewalk to the front door of City Hall covered with ostrich feathers. What? But this strange cross between childhood pranks and cheap theatrics has got the people all worked up. Everyone understands when some Freeburg crook satisfies the basic human need to rob and kill. But when someone steals a lion from the local zoo and locks him in a cell below the courthouse, the people start asking questions. He's resourceful, I'll Myself, give him that. I kind of like this Robespierre. It's not just the pranks he's pulling or his green bull's head emblem. I just like his funny nickname. Robespierre? Really? <laughs> Who does that make me? The Marquis de Lantanac? I don't think so. In the old books about revolutions, I fancy myself the old gunner who goes off to war with a bag of damp powder. Huh? Or maybe the innkeeper who tops up the beer kegs with mop water. I see what he hmm. means. It's something to think about. So these are just like, what, publicity stunts? They're not really... New deputy. It's a big salute on 10A and I don't want to miss it. Can I have the day off? Are you serious? No. Uh, that's all I'm reading. An exciting text is called The Last Temptation of <laughs> Two. Time to get it. I was almost certain that the killer is Commissioner Harrell, but I couldn't rest until I knew for sure. Can I go and finish reading the book? No! Oh, I drink too much. Uh, fine. God damn it. Alright. Tina's gifts, or I thank you for service, but why wait when you can refill your collection now? Oh, I can buy records. Yorick list catalog. You can always find a rich assortment at the lowest possible prices. Free order and save. What in the world? Jesus, expensive. Uh, can't I just pirate this stuff? It's pretty bookmark. I like this magazine. It's pretty. Hmm. <laughs> if Zeus, Jesus, and Buddha wrote a song together, it would sound like this. Ah. Uh, part of me is like, I really should not buy some music. What's new? What can I say pure classic? Uh, yeah, I'll buy one. Okay. What if I buy one right now? Like, this one. Oh, okay. Well, let's hit it. Muffa can offer you some very interesting services. Practically a member of the family now, so it will hardly cost you a thing. Oh, God. There's just things I could spend money on. Fairs. Sands. Interesting. Wow. Muffa falls, falls by a special crime in progress report. And all those who arrive at the scene will be killed. Up to three cops. Interesting. Investigation, Chad Moffat will falsify a special investigation, and the detective who rides on the scene will be killed. Only one detective. Hmm. Will intimidate members of the community before a hearing in the executioner's office. Ooh. A 
as messed up as that is, it's very useful. He's just, he's no Kendrick. He's not as useless as he might seem. You can handle some of your duties when you're pressed for time, but lunch is on you. Along with other expenses. Oh boy. Oh, I see. Hire a snitch. They employ to gather information, important information for you. I forget what your employees plan to testify against you. Convince your employees not to against. Wow, that's a lot. Experience retired detective will assist your investigation for a modest fee. That is steep. Employment for an informal outdoor barbecue. Okay. Send your staff for training. Interesting. And I'll see where I get s bonuses. I see ending, earning and spending. Huh. Do I get to pick who? I'd like to send a couple of these lower people there. Oh, I can only send one. You know what? Let's see how high it goes. How high I can get them to go up. I definitely like to send my lowest person. Oh my god, there's this rant. Okay, interesting. Alright. Bigfoot. <laughs> Let her shoot the shop. That's an awesome name. <laughs> Shoe store clerk reports that two teenagers who found the most expensive sneakers in this play, tried them on, and then, without paying, ran out of the shop with the new shoes. Okay. Let's put you two in on it. It's not too far. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. A shift is such a joke. There's so many things to juggle with them. Like... I thought it was over here. I guess I wasn't paying attention. What? Attempted murder, a man returned from work earlier than usual and he found his young wife in bed with her lover. Oh boy. The maid called the police when she saw the husband making a, a husband taking a hunting rifle from the wall cabinet. Oh jeez. Okay. Uh, uh Let's put you three, I'll save one. Teachers are standing around smoking not far from the store and minding their new shoes. <sighs> I was thinking of just grabbing one of the boys. Alright, we'll tell you, try to return those. Time to return those shoes. Ah. Fuck up, Dano. <laughs> This music is so intense! Ah! Municipal assignment. Today in Freeburg, we're hosting the premiere of Back to the Future. The film distributors have asked the city for an officer to stand at the door so the visitors don't bring their handheld cameras into theaters. Ah, damn it! I don't want to send Smith on something like that. Can't you give me like five seconds? Like I'll put Grant on it. Fine. Send Smith. At least I'm sure it's not gonna be fucked up. Damn it. Alright, how's the situation look? Cool. Oh my gosh! I was wondering what this was. It's awful. Well, this is a shift.
Oh, that was awful. for these guys to come back just so I have a little more flexibility oh jeez Breaker of Elementary a young father depraved deprived of his parental rights tried to pick up his daughter from school when he wasn't allowed access he attacked a teacher knocked her on the ground and started kicking her god damn it what's this Oh, this is a money situation I can do. Mr. Boyd! I have a very sensitive issue in which our mutual friend, Charles, I said you could help me with. As you may already know, I own the largest music store in Freeburg. That's where I bought my records. Recently, my ex-wife got half my record collection in a lawsuit. There's a lot of rare records. My ex is very afraid of the police and always tries to act like a law-abiding citizen. If some of your guys went over there in uniform, told her that records were evidence in an important investigation, she'd just smile and give them whatever they asked for. Not even check into the warrant. Do I have to fill this up? Oh, I have to. Oh, I can, I can bring him on. I'll tell you what. We'll do this. Because I need the money. We'll send you 155. Is that enough? Probably not. What is this assignment? Something going down at the energy power panel at 2209. We wouldn't want any police crashing the party. I think 4,000 should be enough for such a part. Hmm. See, I don't know anything about the bonus system. But. For a penny and for a pound, right? Alright. I'm just gonna send Johnson. Let's see how this works out. Okay, these guys I think are coming back, yeah. Oh no, they're not. Shit. <laughs> how bad is this? The card says someone got into the exhibit halls from pictures of penis on the artwork and hid in the closet. An asshole. Alright. He helped our barber and to thank us he gave us a general couple record that must uh, true grant for his glim. So she's really sad. And was at the bar at the time the shift ended. What? She just left? Nice. Okay. Let's... Nice! I always had faith in you, Johnson. Oh, gosh! You asshole! Why didn't you do anything? <laughs> I can't trust you for anything. Oh, hold on. These guys are almost back. Almost back. There we go. Let's bring you two in on board. Yeah. God damn! I can't believe he got killed! Both of these guys, that's just crazy! when the police arrived. The museum caretaker explains that he only had the job a couple of weeks and he's worried he's going to be fired over this foolishness. The police calmed him down and he points out the bathroom stall that the artist locked himself in. Get out of here! A terrified and tearful young man holding a knife insists that he's engaged in some kind of performance art and that no one understands him. He refuses to surrender. He's threatened to stab himself. Tell me more about your work. Yeah. Please don't tell me kill stuff. Yes. 
I was so worried someone was going to die. Oh my gosh. I'm terrified now. Oh man. This has been a crazy day. In progress. Oh, this is what they were talking about. Two offenders stealing aluminum from the factory through a hole in the wall. Ah. Uh. Well, I didn't succeed in every action, so... Jay, I guess that's, uh... I'm gonna have to let that one slide. Okay, no officers lost anything, though. Yeah, I'm really in it now. Money's money, though. Psychology tests? Jack, you must have seen the newspaper stories about Thomas Blaine, the retired cop who went schizophrenic and shot a pregnant woman. To ensure the tragedy doesn't repeat itself, we've decided to conduct psychological testing for all the cops over 50 years of age. That includes you, Jack. Tomorrow morning, Dr. Eleanor Waterbury will is waiting for you in her office. Don't be late. Uh, why do I gotta see a shrink? I already know I'm crazy. Wouldn't have this job if I was. Oh my gosh. Is it like a service we do or something? Oh. Oh my gosh. This is just. This is a crazy ass city.